In October 2023, the residents of Rugby, North Dakota, experienced a series of unexplainable events that would forever change life in the sleepy town. This is their story, and the story of a man known only as the Captain, the hero who appeared when he was needed the most. Viewer discretion is advised. Northern Lights in, this is Tracy, how okay, may I help okay, you? Okay, 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 uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. Um, what? Uh, well, the, uh, okay, who is this I'm talking to right now? Of the Northern Lights Inn. It's a hotel in Rugby? No, it's not. Uh, this is, this is the Cleveland Police 3rd District that you have. What? This is what? In Rug I'm in Rugby, North Dakota. Okay. I, you have reached the Northern Lights Inn, which is a hotel. Uh, listen to what I'm saying, sir. We just had uh, several phone calls from this number, Excuse me? okay, and the individual, ha and we're leaving Lulud and Lascivious phone companies. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers, and he also had other things what? that was threatening the officers. That's why we were able to contact this number and call this individual right back. Not to this number. Any number called out from here would come to the front desk. It's what? Or any number, when you call back to this number, it comes to the front desk. Uh, why? Because that's how hotels work. No, it's not. Northern Lights Inn, Tracy speaking. How may I help you? You do realize that we're recording what you're saying. Okay. Uh, well, the, the uh... We just had uh, several phone calls, okay? That's what we called you back. When you call... Okay, I, I don't know what number... Somebody here apparently was calling, but when you Is call what? the number back, you get the front desk of the hotel. We had two calls you from this number. You don't know what room number they were calling from. I can't help you. I'm really sorry. Uh, well, the, you know, and uh, 216. I'm, okay. Y'all got your taping, right? Well, the, we don't what we're have having right now is we have uh, the folks listening to this conversation. As uh, we're listening to you, listening to the, you know the folks listening, and uh, we're listening to you right now. Uh, hold on one moment while I get a hold of our local sheriff's department. Okay. One. There is nobody in room two one six. Is what? You said it was room 216. There is nobody in room 216. And what's the last four digits? Eight, uh, area code 216. No, no, no. This is not area code 216. This is area no, code 701. No, this is no, North it, Dakota. No, it's not. Uh, well, the, the, yeah, we I'm have two calls Dakota. from this number. Okay. Listen I am to what I'm in saying. North Dakota. We have two calls from this number. That's why we were able to contact this number right back. Yes, and I told you, if you called this number back, you reached the main desk of the hotel. Okay. This is the main desk, the front lobby of the hotel. Okay. Is there, is there anybody else that's calling? I have guests in, I, I don't know, 25 rooms. Okay. Again, we 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 must tell you that you are being taped. That is fine. I I have Once again, this is the Northern Lights Hotel in Rugby, North Dakota. 
if you were to okay. look it up on the web, you could find that, that that's what this is. Well, that's why we were able to call you right back. What number do you have? Well, this is the number that I just called. That's why we called you back. 701-776. Yes, it is. 56... Five, I mean, five, seven, seven, six. Yes. Slow down yes. a little bit. What's the last four? Five, seven, seven, six. Five, six, seven, six. No. No. Pardon me? Where are you calling from again? This is the dispatch office. I'm a security officer. Is what? And I have somebody claiming that they are the Cleveland Police Department. Yeah, this is the Cleveland Police Department. Keep calling. Why would the Cleveland dispatch be calling us in rugby at the Northern Lights? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I've certainly never tried to call an out-of-state hotel from work before. (laughs) Why? They say they're getting calls from here. And I told them that if they call the number back, they get the front desk. They don't believe me. Did they tell you what the nature of the calls were about? Uh, I believe they said it was pretty perverted, but they're insisting that this is the number that the call is coming from. I've told them multiple times that they've reached the front desk. If somebody calls out from the hotel, it will give the hotel number. That makes sense to me. Right. They're saying I'm wrong. They keep insisting, you're being recorded so you can't lie. Again, this conversation is being recorded. I'm not lying, so I don't care if I'm being recorded. Okay. Are you still there? Uh, yeah, this is the Cleveland Police Department. Somebody over there is pranking you there. No, it's not. This is, this is the Cleveland Police 3rd District that you have, okay? Well, actually, you're you're on speakerphone, and they're listening to you right now. Okay. So I don't uh, know what's up to over there, but... Yeah, I can ask my city officer to stop by and see if he has an opinion on it, if you like. I would like that. Thank you. Okay. What was your name? Tracy Prowitz. Okay, Tracy. I will tell him to look for you out at the front desk, okay? All right. Thank you. Yep. Now, how can I help you? Is there that you that's calling? No. This is the front desk. Who's anytime this you that's calling call the station goes, here? Anytime a call goes out from the hotel, from any of the rooms in the hotel, it reads this number. Well, I'm, I'm listening to what I've been taping from this number. Okay. Good afternoon, Cleveland Police. Hey, come Guzzler. Cleveland Police, you can you I help you? Really worship my car. Terrific. Got it you in know my you're hand being right now, I got you. I'm getting hard. Balls rubbing against your chin. Okay, all right. I don't want to hear that. I, I do not want to hear that. Squeeze your nose, and you're that gonna is take disgusting. it all. Can you handle that? Court. I'm going to call our cops again if you if and have them listen in again. Okay. Please stop. Are y'all, are y'all listening to this? Okay. That's Who's calling this number? I'm Who's calling us here at this district? That's what we want to know. I have 13, 14, 15 Ooh. occupied Ooh. rooms. Ooh. It could be coming from any one of those rooms. I don't know. It could be co- somebody calling from one of our house phones that we got here. I picked up the phone, and you were on the other end. Okay. That's what we called you back. Uh, what? Who are you again? Who, what, who again, sir? I am not a sir. Let's get uh, that straight first. I okay. have been born a woman, okay? Okay. Please do not call me sir. Okay. Yeah, we heard you, sir. Uh, well, the, she was saying oh, oh, oh. how you wanted to have... Uh, 
Okay, well, we're advising oh, you now that you have, well, whoever called from this number has called this district several times. Rugby Police Department, Tim speaking. Okay, who is this I'm talking to right now? My name is Tim. This is this is the Cleveland Police 3rd District that you have. Okay. Uh, uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. Yeah. I sent an officer up to the Northern Lights, if that's what you're referring to. The is what? Calling from there. I see the what? front desk gal at the front Northern Lights, Tracy Prowitz, called me. I sent an officer down there to see if he can sort out who's... Because he said, you guys are saying somebody's making obscene phone calls? Uh, I'm, okay. I don't know. We just received several phone calls from this number, okay, leaving lewd and serious remarks, not only to us, but for the captain and the lieutenant here. Okay. Okay. Who are you again? Who, what, who again, sir? My name's Timothy Lockerquist. I'm the dispatcher for Pierce County Sheriff's Office. Okay. In Rugby, North Dakota. Uh, well, the, the, uh, okay, who's calling this number? Who's calling us here at this district? That's what we want to know. I've got an officer down at the hotel trying to figure that out. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yep. Dollar General Rugby. Is what? Dollar General Rugby. Uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. <laughs> Calling the station? Uh, this is the Cleveland Police Department, District Number Three, sir. Uh, this is a Dollar General. No one's been calling the police here. Say again, sir. This is a Dollar General. No one's been calling the police here today. Uh, uh we're trying to see. We just had uh, several phone calls from this number, okay? And the individual, have, and we're leaving Lulu and Lascivious phone comments. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers, and he also had other Do things I? that was threatening the officers. That's why we were able to contact this number and call this individual right back. Uh, this is a Dollar General number, phone number. Uh, this is okay. for our company phone. Well, that's why we were able to call you right back. I don't know what to tell you guys. This is a Dollar General. It's what? It's a Dollar General. Uh, no okay. No one called the police department from this number. Yes, and it was, sir. We What's have it on tape that, that we had two calls from this number. That's why we called you back. I guess call corporate. This is a Dollar General phone. Okay, who is this I'm talking to right now? My name's Nate, but, uh... Okay. It's a Dollar General. Uh... I can call my boss really quick. Well, the, what we're having right now is we have uh, the folks listening to this conversation. As uh, we're listening to you, listening to the, you know the folks listening, and uh, we're listening to you right now. Yeah, you're stuttering a lot. Is what? You're stuttering a well, lot. The, I'm, uh, well, I'm. Well, sir. Uh, well, uh, uh, this. Uh, okay, who is this I'm talking to right now? I'm not giving that information out. You're stuttering. You do realize that this is the police department that you're talking with. I get where. What? What's the police department? This is this is the Cleveland Police Third District that you have. The hold on, T. The what district? Uh, this is the Cleveland Police Department, District Number Three, sir. This is the Cle. You know what number you're calling me from right now, sir? It's what? North Dakota. Uh, well, that's why we were able to call you right back. I don't know. How, okay, hold on. Give me one second, T. This dude from an unavailable number is calling from the Cleveland Police Department because apparently someone's calling and trying to have sex with the officers or some shit. I'm on the phone with this dude right now. I wish you could talk to him. He's right. He stutters a lot. No, it's not. I've tried to explain to him that this is a Dollar General, so I'm not understanding how he's getting phone calls from this number. 
I don't understand how I could express that any more and simply clear that this is a Dollar General, sir. Okay. And I don't think anybody in this store wants to have sex with your officer, so whoever is calling is clearly wrong. Again, we 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 must tell you that you are being taped. Again, you can tape me all you want, sir, because I have no idea what you're fucking talking about. So listen to what I've been taping from this number, okay? Okay, that's perfectly yeah, fine, sir. Cleveland Police. Hey, come but, you know, know. Cleveland Police, you can I help him? Really worship okay. my talk. Okay, I... Got it you in know my you're hand being right now, I got you. and it's I'm... getting hard. Balls rubbing against your chin. Uh, what it's what? That? Sorry, what was that? This is this is the Cleveland Police Third District that you have. Well, the, uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. Uh, one moment. Why? Uh, I I am not the one that's been calling. Um, let me put it to to my manager. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. One moment. Okay, before I give you to her, so this is the Cleveland Police, and someone's been from here has been trying to contact you. Yeah, this is the Cleveland Police Department. Okay, uh, all right. I we have two calls right from this here. number. Uh, okay. Uh, hey guys, you guys. Wait, uh, this on the phone is supposedly the Cleveland Cleveland Police Department. They're claiming that someone from here has been trying to get a hold of them. Okay, I don't know who it is. Asking for the manager. Hello. Okay, this is a, okay. This is Officer Ed Powell with the Cleveland Police Department. Okay. Uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. Oh, okay. The people that are in here right now, we have a bunch of hunters from out of state that don't appear that they're in need of a police officer. Uh, well, the, we just had uh, several phone calls from this number, okay, and the individual, ha- and we're leaving Lulud and Lascivious phone comes. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers, and he also had other you things what? that was threatening the officers. That's why we were able to contact this number and call this Just individual recently? right back. Just recently? Uh, They're calling saying yes. they want to have sex with the officers. Okay. That's why we called you back. Okay. Um. Yeah, and I've been working here since four, and I have don't know that there's anybody in here that's messing yeah. around. Like, dinner hour is yeah. just getting done. Uh, well... Because our the, phone is in the back of the bar the whole time, and the cameras are pointed on the phone the whole time. Is there, is there anybody else that's calling? No. Uh, yeah, like, okay. Okay, I don't know. We just received several phone calls from this number. Okay, here. leaving lewd and serious remarks, not only to us, but for the captain and the lieutenant here. Okay, that's fine. If you want me, give me your phone number. Um, I'll watch like the last few hours of cameras and see because I think the only or- things we've been on the phone for is take home or take out orders. Uh, is what? Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, and your officer who? And I can give you a call back. Okay, this is a, okay. This is Officer Ed Powell with the Cleveland Police Department. Okay, my manager can pull it up. One moment. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. Hello, this is Tracy. Uh, uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. Calling the station. Calling from here. This number. This number. Uh, well, that's why we were able to call you right back. Okay. And you're asking me what exactly? Okay, who's calling this number? Who's calling us here at this district? That's what we want to know. Mm. This doesn't sound very professional by any means. Why? If you guys have tracking. If you're an actual police department, you would be able to track that. Well, I'm not, I'm, you do realize that this is the police department that you're talking with. Okay, well then call the rugby police department in the same area. Why? Why? Who are you again? Who, who again, sir? I I'm actually a lady, but maybe I sound uh, like a sir. 
Okay. <laughs> well, sir, I'm sorry. I called. Uh, well, the, you know, uh, we had t- well, the, what we're having right now is we have uh, the folks listening to this conversation. As uh, we're listening to you, listening to the, you know the folks listening, and Absolutely. Uh, we're listening Great. to you right now. Wonderful. So then what? Uh, well, the, what we're having right now is we have uh, the folks to listening to this line. conversation. As uh, we're listening Nobody to you, listening to the, you know to the folks listening the, and well, uh, the, to and this is conversation you. and uh, you know and this was called by us and we have the uh, Ooh, the folks listening that you're talking to, you know, and this is the police that you're talking to, and. You know, the folks listening sure to this conversation. Like so, uh, I'm if not, you, wanna, I'm, you know, the if, folks if you listening. If you want to give me the, your number and, and your logistics, I will call my police department here, uh, and they can track okay. it. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. This is yeah, the dispatch exactly. office. Two one six. Call my police department. Three two nine six three five zero. Hello. Hello. Yes, it is. That's what my display shows. Hello? Yes? Who called us? I did not call you. You called me. I picked up the phone and you were on the other end. I am call you call me, bro. No, that is incorrect. Yes. My phone I rang. You answered the phone and you I called answered me. the phone. You I am answering right now. Me. Lose my number right no. now before I actually call my police department and have your number tracked. Hey, is there maybe someone else that you can put on the line? I am the owner of this establishment and you are pissing me off. So you best watch your shit right now. Or I will contact the actual police department and have them track your number. I'm trying to help you out, but you're not helping me at all. How do you want me to help you? Slow down a little bit. Start from the very beginning, okay? Who called us? I did not call you. I picked up the phone, this and number you is were on the other end. Calling you. you are calling me, bro. Is that correct? Like, you are calling us. Are you trying to get my telephone number or your tel- the telephone number that you're calling from right now? Well, if, you're poli- if you are a police department, you have very valid Correct. tracking information. No. So. No. You have a bogus telephone number. Um, we are a legit business, and I'm no. scared of you guys calling us. You have a bogus display. Okay, put your put your put your boss on. Okay, that's fine. Hey, what are the odds they put their boss on? Put your boss on. Again, it's Officer McLean. <laughs> Hello, Officer McLean. This is Officer McLean. Beautiful. What's Where going on? Located? The Cleveland Police Department. Cleveland Police Department. I suggest you guys call the Rugby Police Department and have them track this number. Are you sure? I am 100% and 10% positive. What was your name I again? your number down, Pat. What was your name again? My name is Susie. Okay. How long have you been in law enforcement? Uh, in law enforcement? I'm the owner of the business that you're right. calling. Right. I will get a warrant for the phone records. Absolutely. I'd appreciate that. Okay. Um, can you give me your um, name and number as well? Are we doing this again? It's Officer McLean. We're not doing this again. You never gave me your name, your number. It's Officer McLean. Got it. Badge number. And what? what is your number? Badge number 4928. 49 what? 4928. 4928. Correct. Honey, I need about, uh, let's see, seven more digits. No. Hello. How long have you been in law enforcement, sir? 
Again, I'm not a sir. If I sound like a man to you, okay. I'm great. But I got four nine two eight. I need seven more digits. Three zero seven seven five four two two one two. Okay, now you're giving me a different number. No, badge number four nine two eight. Okay, if you're in law enforcement, I suggest calling the Pierce. I I, I am. And the, the, who's your supervisor? You know I have all your info. So who's your you supervisor? I am the owner of the establishment you're calling. Right, right. Who's your supervisor? Um, I don't know if I can get any more clearer to you. I am the owner. Okay, by all means. Who's your supervisor? Means, call my... Okay, again. Call again. my sheriff's office. Again. Who's your you supervisor? Number for you, or, or is that unavailable to you? Okay, okay. Do you want my officer's number? Yes. Beautiful. You 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 don't have that available to you, apparently. I'm sorry. Pierce, Pierce County Sheriff's Office. You don't have that available to you. I'm sorry. You my do phone not number. Have my QMT police officer's number available to you. What number are these messages coming from? I would I like to assume that you would have like an LED display that you could tell me what telephone number is calling like and leaving these messages. You calling and harassing and tying up my phone line. No, you no. You can call your county sheriff in this county in this state. Okay, it's not it's not anybody from this number. And Pierce I know County for a Wisconsin? fact that we have not called. They would never. This is so. No. Cleveland, Ohio. Ohio. Okay, do you know Correct. what state I'm in that you're calling? I'm sorry? Do you know what state you're in? Yes. What state? Cleveland, Ohio. North Dakota, honey. Okay. You are calling North Dakota. Nobody no, that I know of is calling you, leaving lewd messages. Bullshit. If you have issues. That, that's what you said. I understand that, and I, I could understand why you're trying to find out who's doing call it. Call the sheriff's office here. Who's okay. your supervisor? Thank you. What was your name again? Lee's Bar. Hello? Yes, Lee's Bar. Okay, this is... a. Okay, this is Officer Ed Powell with the Cleveland Police Department. Okay. Uh, uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. No one's used our phone. It's what? No one's used our phone. Uh, well, the, we just had uh, several phone calls from this number, okay? And the individual, have, and we're leaving Lulud and Lascivious phone companies. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers, and he also had other things what? that was threatening the officers. That's why we were able to hey. contact this number and call this individual right back. Yeah, no, it's not from this line, but, you know, they could be using that app that reroutes to a different number. It's what? They could be reusing that app. There's an app you can use that can reroute, look, making it look like a different number. Okay, who's calling this number? Who's calling us here at this district? That's what we want to know. No one from this phone. Uh, the phone, we don't have a public phone. It's back here behind the bar. Well, that, well, that's, well, that's why we were able to call you right working. back. Well, I'm, well, that's why we were able to call you right back. I don't know. There's only one phone. And well, it's, well, I have it. I don't, I've well, never made a phone call. Well, I'm not, I'm, uh, Listen to what I'm saying, sir. Okay. I, I don't know. know. We just received several phone calls from this number, okay, leaving lewd and serious remarks, not only to us, but for the captain and the lieutenant here. Not from this phone. I'm sorry. I don't know. They could be using the app that makes it look coming from a different number. Is what? There's an app that you can use that you can download on your phone, and you, I can make it look like, let's say... I'm calling somebody I don't like, but I want it to look like so and so is calling that number. You can make that app can make it look like that, because I can't guarantee you that there's well, no the, one. What we have right phone. now is we have uh, 
the folks listening to this conversation as uh we're listening to you listening to the, you know the folks listening and uh we're listening to you right now yeah that's fine honey but this no one we have one phone you might have been behind and under the bar well that's why we were able to call you right back i can't tell i don't know what's going on well but that's why we were we able to call you right phone. back i don't know i don't know Tina, the manager's here. Talk to okay, her. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll explain it to the women real quick. There's been a number of calling the bar or the police department using lewd, horrible things to the captain, to everybody, from this phone number many times. We're I saying how you want to have sex with the captain, and we're saying how you want to have sex with the lieutenant here. Okay. Hello? Uh, okay, this is a... Okay, this is Officer Ed Powell with the Cleveland Police Department. Uh, we're trying to see yep. who's this individual that's calling the station here. They, they, there's nobody been using this it, phone. Uh, well, the, the bar and under the counter. We just had uh, several phone calls from this number, okay? And the individual, okay. ha- and we're leaving Lulud and Lascivious phone companies. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers, and he also had other things what? that was threatening the officers. That's why we were able to contact this number and call this individual right back. Oh, okay. But, so where are you located? This is the Cleveland Police Department, District Number 3, sir. But here, but what town are you in? Uh... This is this is the Cleveland Police Third District that you have. But no, hun. What town are you in? Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. Yes. Sir. You're calling a North Dakota number, honey. Uh. Okay. Uh. Well, this that's why we were able Dakota to call number. you right back. Okay. Okay. This bar may help you. Uh. Well, okay, who's calling this number? Who's calling us here at this district? That's what we want to know. I don't know. See, in this, this I can't help you with. You were able to call me right back, and there's been nobody using my phone. Well, that's why we were able to call you right back. And that's fine, but the thing, I don't understand how that's working either, because the thing is that somebody has hacked our phone then. Because we are in North Dakota. North Dakota. Okay. Can you, when you call me back, can you, is it coming up where you're calling me from in North Dakota? Uh, no, it's not. It's just coming up as our phone number. Correct? Well, that's why we were able to call you right back. Okay. But it, it, I can't explain that to you because the thing is nobody's used this far, this phone. What? I swear to God, I am a bar in North Dakota. Okay. And nobody has used this phone. We have two calls from this number. Okay. Okay. So they've got to be using something from, I don't know. I, I it, really cannot it, tell you. Is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is there anybody else that's calling? No. Why? Okay, I'll get it. Uh, so I beg your pardon? I, there's nobody been using this phone. The last two phone calls have been from you. The phone well, that's why we were able to call you right back. And nobody's used it. I, I can't explain that. Well, that's why we were able to I'm call you right back. That. But what I'm telling you is nobody has used this phone in the last probably four hours, and the only two phone calls that have come into this landline, this landline, have been you. Well, that's why we were able to call you right back. You're not making sense. Because uh, the thing is, is I realize you've been able to call me. So, I, you'll have to figure something out. You'll have to call your telephone service. Northern Lights in. This is Tracy. How may I help you? Okay. Um, what? Northern Lights in? Tracy, this is where are you calling from again? I'm not calling you. You called me. The Northern Lights Inn. Yes, it's a hotel. That's what this is. 
Yes. This is the Northern Lights Hotel. I'm in Rugby, North Dakota. Okay. Okay. Northern Lights in. How may I help you? Come to the front desk of the hotel. I'm at the front desk of the hotel. No, no, no. You reach the main desk of the hotel. I'm at the main desk of the hotel. <sighs> right. Now, how can I help you? Calling Cobblestone Inn and Suites Rugby. My name is Nicole. How can I help you? Where are you calling from again? Um, my phone just rang. I'm at the Cobblestone and Rugby. Okay. This is the Northern Lights Hotel. Oh, okay. You reach the main desk of the hotel. That's what this is. Okay. I, I didn't, I wasn't even at the phone. I didn't call. Right. Come to the front desk. Okay. Come to the front desk of the hotel. I, I'm over at the cobblestone. I, I can't leave here. Okay. The, front desk. the Northern Lights Inn. Yes, that's next door to me. That is fine. Let's get that straight first. Somebody here apparently was calling. When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. I, I was actually in the back room and my phone rang. No, no, no. You're being recorded, so you can't lie. I'm not lying. I'm at the front desk at the cobblestone. And I was in the back room, and my phone rang, and it was you. What number do you have? My phone number um, here is 8813000. Five, I mean, 5776? No. 216. 1776. Nope. The, the only number that I have is 8813000. Hold on one moment while I get a hold of our local sheriff's department. Okay. Rugby Police Department, Tim speaking. I have somebody keep calling. Why would they call us in rugby at an ordinary They're saying I'm wrong. Did they tell you what the nature of the calls were about? I believe they said it was pretty perverted. Yeah, I can ask my officer to stop by and see if he has an opinion on it if you like. I would like that. Thank you. Okay, well, Tracy, actually, you're, you're on speakerphone, and they're right, thank you. to you right now. Are you still there? I am. I am born a woman, okay? Please do not call me sir. Uh, I'm a female, and I didn't call you in the first place. No. I am not a sir. I'm sorry, what was that? I am born a woman. Let's get that straight first. I didn't accuse you of anything else. No. No. Are you still there? Yes. Please do not call me. I won't. My name is Timothy Lockerquist. I'm the dispatcher for Pierce County Sheriff's Office. I sent an officer out to the Northern Lights, if that's what you're referring to, the all in from there, 
front desk gal at the front northern lights, Tracy Prowitz called me. I sent an officer down there to see if he can sort out who you guys are saying somebody's making obscene phone calls. I have no right. clue about that. I am at the front desk at the cobblestone. Trying to figure that out. Okay. Because that's how hotels work. When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. Um, are you still there? Farms, how can I help you? You reach the main desk of the hotel. The Northern Lights Inn. Hello? This is the front desk. Yes. This is the Northern Lights Hotel. Hello? Okay. Okay. Where are you calling from again? You were calling me. No, no, no. Let's get that straight first. Somebody here apparently was calling... Okay, when well, you, you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. Okay. Because that's how hotels work. Um, what? I didn't call this number. Now, how can I help you? I was wondering the same. You called me. I'm assuming no. you wanted to order something. I'm in Rugby, North Dakota. This is oh my. the Northern Lights Hotel. This is Dakota Farms. Okay. Come to the front desk of the hotel. For what? Come to the front desk. For what? I'm going to call our cops again if you, if, and have them listen in again. Come to the front desk. For what? <sighs> this is the Hello, Northern is Lights Will, Hotel. Hello. Uh, what? Hello, this is Will. Can I help you? Tracy speaking. How may I help you? I'm sorry. You called Dakota Farms? No. You reached the main desk of the hotel, the Northern Lights Inn. Okay, um, we never called out. We had a phone call come in to the restaurant. This is the Northern Lights Hotel. It's a hotel in Rugby? Uh-huh. And this is Dakota Farms Restaurant, the restaurant in right. the same building. So you called over here? No. Okay, we didn't call you. Our phone rang and picked up, and we got you. Come to the front desk of the hotel. Rugby, how may I help you? Tracy speaking. How may I help you? Who's this? This is the Northern Lights Hotel. It's a hotel in Rugby. Oh, I got a call here. I thought you guys called in. Where are you calling from again? Uh, Dollar General, you guys called our store. No. You reached the main yeah. desk of the hotel. Oh, no, you guys called our store. I just answered right now. No, no, no. Somebody here apparently was calling. When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. Oh, no, I think that must be a mistake. Uh, what? I think that must be a mistake. We haven't called anybody to the hotel. I am born a woman, okay? Let's get that straight first. I am not a sir. I didn't call you a sir, ma'am. Are you still there? Yes, I'm hearing you. Hold on one moment while I get a hold of our local sheriff's department. That's fine. Hey, T. T. T.
I have somebody keep calling. Why would they call on us and rugby at an ordinary point? They're saying I'm wrong. Did they tell you Hello? what the nature of the calls were about? I believe they said it was pretty perverted. Yeah, I can ask my officer to stop by and see if he has an opinion on it, if you like. Is this another one like of these that. phone calls? Thank you. Well, actually, Hello? you're, you're on speakerphone, and they're listening to you right now. Okay, I've never heard of a dispatch put me on speakerphone. That's kind of like, you know, the weirdest um, thing I've what? ever heard. This I've is never heard of a dispatch the Northern put me Lights on Hotel. Northern Lights Hotel, okay. What does that have to do with Dollar General? You guys did this last time. No, no, no. It's a hotel in rugby? Okay, I get that, but... This is the second phone call we've had about this kind of stuff, and no one's calling from a Dollar General. Where are you calling from again? You just called us at a Dollar General. We're at work right no. now. Yeah. You reached the main desk of the hotel. I don't understand how anybody called you from this phone when you called us, and our phone has been sitting there on the hook... While we were throwing out freight, we can show you the cameras. When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. Yeah. You're being recorded, so you, you are can't not lie. understanding what I am saying, ma'am. Nobody has called your I am desk not a sir. Dollar Please do not call me sir. I am born a woman, you, okay? Not Let's sir. get that straight first. I called, okay, you know what? If you're going to sit here and try to get angry with me, no. quote unquote, being this bitch, I'm going to hang up with you because you're currently impeding our work and I really don't got time for this shit. My so, name's Timothy Lockerquist. I'm the dispatcher for Pierce County Sheriff's Office. actual authorities. So goodbye. I sent an officer out to the Northern Lights if that's what you're referring to. The call in from there. Dollar General Rugby. I sent an officer out to the Northern Lights if that's what you're referring to. The call in from there. Front desk gal at the front Northern Lights, Tracy Prowitz called me. I sent an officer down there to see if he can sort out who... You guys are saying somebody's making obscene phone calls? No one's making phone calls. I sent an officer up to the Northern Lights, if that's what you're referring to. The, trying to figure that out. My name's Timothy Lockerquist. I'm the dispatcher for Pierce County Sheriff's Office. <laughs> Okay, well, no one's calling nobody. Our phone hasn't rang till we got a phone call about a few minutes ago. You're being recorded, so you can't lie. Yeah, no one's lying. The Northern I, the Lights Inn. Yeah, and That's nobody's calling. Is. Nobody's been on the phone. My work phone has been in my office since I've been here at 7 a.m. this morning. It reads this number. Well, it's not us calling. My phone has been in the office since 7 a.m. this morning. My, my work phone does do not you have my office. Ask them for a reference number or a number I can so I can give it to the police when I call them. Yeah, if it's going to be an issue, this is multiple calls we've gotten in the last few days. I can call the cop station and have somebody come up here. I'm trying to act like dispatch put me on speaker. They're the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Now, how can I help you? Try to pull that shit with someone. Make sure that someone hasn't been in trouble by the actual police. I'm, I'm, I'm going to call the cops and have them settle it itself because I'm sick of this. This is my store, and you guys are calling when nobody is doing nothing here. I'm going to call our cops again if you, if, and have them listen in again. Yeah. Hold on one moment while I get a hold of our local sheriff's department. Envision C Store. Um, what? Envision C Store. Tracy speaking. How may I help you? Oh, did you did you call or did someone else call? Hello. Uh, what? You reached the main desk of the hotel, the Northern Lights Inn. That's what okay. this is. Well, someone must have called someone because my my phone rang and I picked it up at the front. I'm at the C store, the Envision C store, and the phone rang, so I picked it up. <laughs> this is 
the Northern Lights Hotel. Yep. And you, and you didn't call me. No. No. So I don't. I, so someone someone must have called something and messed us up because we're both at our desks apparently. <laughs> Where are you calling from again? I'm not calling from anywhere. I the I'm I'm for, I'm at the at the Envision C store just down the road from you. And I'm in Rugby, North Dakota. Right. Yeah, me too. I'm at the okay. at the, the C store. Yeah, the C store down the road. <sighs> yep. This and is then the, the front rang. desk. Yeah. When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't call any number. My phone rang. The phone up here at the front rang, and I picked it up. Okay. Yeah. You're being recorded, so you can't lie. Yeah. It reads this number. Yeah, I, like I said, I don't know what happened because it's ring it, it rang up here, at, like like it was taking a call. Okay. Now, yeah. how can I help you? Oh uh, well, I was supposed to help you because I thought you were calling the C store. I am so you not a me. sir. I am born a woman. Okay, let's get that straight first. Please do not call no, I didn't me sir. Say, sir. I I didn't. I never said sir. Hold on one moment while I get a hold of our local sheriff's department. Okay. <laughs> Senex Seastar, how can I help you? Um, what? Senex Seastar, how can this I help you? This is the Northern Lights Hotel. This is the Northern Lights Hotel, or are you looking for the Northern Lights Hotel? <sighs> you reached the main desk of the hotel. This is Senex. No, no, no. The Northern Lights Inn. That's what this is. Over, connected to Dakota Farms, right? That is fine. <sighs> this is the Sunnex Sea Store. How can I help you? I'm going to call our cops again if you if and have them listen in again. I. You're calling us. I have somebody keep calling. Why would they call us in Rugby of the Northern Lights? They're this saying I'm Senex. wrong. Did they tell you what the nature of the calls were about? Uh, I believe they said it was pretty perverted. Yeah, I can ask my officer to stop by and see if he has an opinion on it, if you like. I would like that. Thank you. Okay, well, actually, you're, you're on speakerphone, and they're all right. Thank you. Right now. Okay. My name's Timothy Lockerquist. I'm the dispatcher for Pierce County Sheriff's Office. Hi, this is Senex. Um, we keep getting the call into us. Okay. It's I don't know what's going on. It's we're getting the call. This is Heidi Bowler from Senex. Trying to figure that out. I sent an yeah. officer out to the Northern Lights, if that's what you're referring to, the all in from there. Front desk gal at the front Northern Lights, Tracy Prowitz called me. I sent an officer down there to see if he can sort out who you guys are saying somebody's making obscene phone calls. We're not making any obscene phone calls. We're getting the call into us. Okay. Because it's, it's ringing here, and we're picking it up. Please do not call me. What number do you have? We're getting the call into us. Like it's ringing. Like someone's trying to call into us. No, no, no. When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. You're being which recorded number? so you can't lie. So which... um. Hold on, let me figure this one out. Uh, which number comes up when it's calling you? What number do you have? It the the number that's on our console is one two one six three two one six nine one seven seven six. 
So the number it that reads we have on this our- number, two one six one seven seven six five. I mean five seven seven six. I don't know if that's our number, um, but the number that we have on our console is one two one six. Right. Three two nine six three five zero. Um. What? Or six three five zero. Sorry. Six three. Five, Slow zero. down a little bit. Start from the very Sorry. beginning, okay? Okay. The number that we have on our console is one two one. So it starts six. with one. One. Like the United States plus one. Okay, that's fine. One. Two one six. Two one six. Three two nine. Slow down a little bit. One. Five. Two one six. Yep. Okay. Three, two. Three, two, three. Pardon three, me. Two, three, two, nine. Two, three, three, two, nine. Okay. Um, and then six. Three five zero. Three two nine six three five four two five two. What's the last four? That's not matching our number. Sorry. Two one six. Two one six. Three two two three nine. What's the no, last uh, four? Uh. Three two nine is what we have. Three. Okay. What's the last four? Six three five zero. Six three five zero. Two one six area code belongs to North American Nuremberg Plan. We're gonna start from the very beginning, okay? Okay. Two one six. Two one six, yep. Three two Nine. Yep. Six three five zero. Yep. That's what my display shows. You have a bogus telephone number. Yeah, we're Senex. I don't think that's our number. Are you trying to get my telephone number or your tel- the telephone number that you're calling from right now? What happens is when I put the phone down, it rings again and it gets Northern Light. But okay. we're not calling. What number are these messages coming from? I would I like to assume that you would have like an LED display that you could tell me what telephone number is calling and leaving these messages. We're not getting any messages. We're just getting the hotel right away. Okay. We're, we're 776. There, okay, and, and what – so, so what, what no- number is 2212? Two one six is the number that's showing up on my screen. Like that's the person calling me. It probably came up on your on your uh, display. The what? Okay. What number do you have? We have. Okay, what's our uh, Taylor? One moment, please. Taylor. Okay. What's our number? Like the Senex number. Hold on. What's our Senex number? Senex number? Um, like 6221 or 5221 or something? I don't remember. Uh, the actual C store, like our yeah. two call. Hold on, let me go. It's a 622 all for C store, but I'm not sure if it's going to be called out. So it might be. Because it's North Store and then it's North Store. So it's 776-5221 is our. It's what? Seven. I'm sorry, you said 70 what? 701-776 is our company number. 701-776. And That's what's the last four digits? What's our last four digits? Just to throw it out. It's a 6220 associate store and then 6350. 
six three five zero is not ours. Six two two zero is ours. Uh okay. So six two two zero is ours. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and, and what so what number are you dialing when you try to when you try to track this individual down? We're not dialing anything. That's what my display shows. I'm not we're not typing anything in. If if you want to send an officer down here to verify, I we don't have that going on. So it, all I'm trying to say is not it's not coming from me. I don't know. I, I All I know is that we're not dialing them. Okay, and and what so Three two nine six three five four two five two six three five zero. I don't know that number. That's what my display shows. That's that's not our number. My display is broken. I I know that's not our Fenix C store is not calling the North the hotel. We're not calling the hotel. We're working and we're getting a phone call into us where we pick up the phone and say hello. Someone has been calling you? Who? Is that correct? I I don't know. I Hey, is there maybe someone else that you can put on the line? Yeah. I will put you on with Taylor. Okay, that's fine. Hello? Uh, Taylor. Well, okay, who is this I'm talking to right now? This is Taylor Ganji who works at the C Cenex C store, Envision okay. C store here down on the highway. Okay. Uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. Yeah. Uh, we just had uh, several phone calls from this number, okay, and the individual, ha and we're leaving lewd and lascivious phone companies. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers, and he also had other things what? that was threatening the officers. That's why we were able to contact this number and call this individual right back. Hmm. Uh, well, yeah, you can you can come down. It's just the C store. You know where that's at, right? It's what? The the Envision C store? Uh. This is this is the Cleveland Police Third District that you have. Cleveland, please. Yeah, this is the Cleveland Police Department. That's what we called you back. Oh, what the heck? Well, this is this is the Rugby, uh, North Dakota, uh, Envision it, 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 C store. Uh. Okay. I don't know. We just received several phone calls. From this number, okay, leaving lewd and lascivious remarks, not only to us, but for the captain and the lieutenant here. Okay, uh, so someone's like hacking a number or something, or how do how do they do that? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Well, the, what we're having right now is we have uh, the folks listening to this conversation as uh, we're listening to you, listening to, the, you know, the folks listening and uh, we're listening to you right now. Mm hmm So do we, like, do we just, if, I, if we disconnect the phone somehow, is there a way to, like, stop the person from calling? Uh, no. Uh, well, I don't know. Uh. Again, we 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 must tell you that you are being taped. Yes, yes. Okay, who's calling this number? Who's calling us here at this district? That's what we want to know. Yes, and and I don't and I don't I don't know. <laughs> we're Why? we're getting phone calls from our local branch of a of a what do you call it? Um, we have a hotel just down the road here, and they uh they have a number that keeps showing up on our call history, and we pick up the phone and say hello. You know, because we're a Cenex, we have to say hello, and then this is Cenex C-Store, what can we do for you? But the, they keep calling us back, 
or well, they don't call us. Their phone is somehow uh, showing up as calling us, but they're not actually calling us, and we're not actually calling them. But somehow they're being connected. I don't know. It's weird. But that's why we were able to call you right back. Yeah, and I don't, and I don't know how whoever is doing it is doing it. It's it's strange. Are they is there some way to hack a phone? Uh, no. Well, the is there, is there anybody else that's calling? Uh no, it was just them. Well, them and you guys now. I didn't know. Uh, she, I, I, another lady was working on it, and she was trying to figure out what was going on. And she said, "Can you talk to these people? I need to take this customer." And I said, "Okay." Who is the Who is there with you, sir? Uh, who is that? Um, officer. Uh, the police officer wants to know what state you're from. Uh, is what? What state? What state are you from? This is this is the Cleveland Police Third District that you have. Cleveland Police Third District. Oh. Okay. The they said uh, that they watch your podcast. Uh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh. Okay. Uh well the okay who's calling this number that's what we want to know um no one's calling the number uh they said they said that you guys do a show or something no it's on not podcast uh you do realize that this is the police department that you're talking with uh yeah no I just talked to the police department the police department guy was just here actually he actually walked in and walked out now he said I've seen that and then walked out so. Okay, here we go. Well, that's why we were able to call you right back. He said he's seen the podcast, and it's not funny the second time around. It's what? So, he's seen the podcast, and he, it's not funny the second time around. Why? 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 Thank you for calling Subway. You're being recorded, so you can't lie. This is the Northern Lights Hotel. Okay. That's what this is. I'm in Rugby, North Dakota. Yes, we are too, actually. That is fine. Now, how can I help you? We didn't call you. This is our third call from you, but we never called the Northern no. Lights Motel. When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. I have no idea. I don't call there because I live in Rugby, so I don't need a motel room. It's a hotel <laughs> so in I'm Rugby? Not sure. Please do not call me, sir. I am born a woman, okay? Let's get that straight first. I am not a sir. Okay. <sighs> hold on one moment while I get a hold of our local sheriff's department. That's fantastic. Send him on over the subway. I have somebody keep calling. Why would they call him us in Rugby at the Northern Lights? They're saying I'm wrong. Did they tell you what the nature of the calls were about? I believe they said it was pretty perverted. Good evening, North Dakota State Hospital. This is Teresa. How can I help you? Hello? Hello? This is the dispatch office for Western State Mental Hospital in Washington State. Okay. How can I help you? Who called us? No, I didn't. Pardon me? I did not call you. That's what my display shows. Well, I've been here for 
over five hours. I didn't call you, I'm afraid. Start from the very beginning, okay? What number are these messages coming from? I would I like to assume that you would have like an LED display that you could tell me what telephone number is calling and leaving these messages. I don't, uh, hold on. Okay, that's fine. I'm sorry, I don't have your phone number. Who called us? Well, if it, we did, it might have been a mistake. What number are these messages coming from? I would I like to assume that you would have like an LED display that you could tell me what telephone number is calling and leaving these messages. How many times did you get our phone? How many times did we supposedly call you? Eight. Eight? No. Nine. What number okay. is calling you? I'm sorry, what number is calling you? Okay, and, and what, so, seven, zero, one, two, five, three, three, six, five, zero. And can you tell me what time this number called you? When was okay, the last and, and, time that number ca called you? Th well, who called us? Okay, I'm sorry. What time was the last time that number called you? Five. Who, who, okay, and, and what, are you trying to get my telephone number or your tel the telephone number that you're calling from right now? I'm not on a cell phone. Pardon me? I am not on a cell phone. I don't have any idea. All I'm saying is I am looking at the LED display. You have a bogus telephone number. Okay, well, I'm sorry, but I haven't placed any phone call numbers to any Washington State phone number. You know what, your line is coming through very broken, so I can't really help you unless you can identify what telephone number is calling you, and I can backtrack it to see if it's one of our patient phones. There's a very good chance that one of our mental patients has gotten a hold of the telephone number that they're calling and leaving these lewd comments on. I can't help you unless I get a clear call where I can identify the telephone number to even tell you whether it's coming from this facility or not. There's no need to yell at me, sir. I'm just trying to help you. I'm trying to help you out, but you're not helping me at all. That is my phone number. Okay, and, and what, so who called us? But I didn't call you. Pardon me? I did not call you. No, that is incorrect. Hey, is there maybe someone else that you can put on the line? I am sitting at a switchboard. I am the only person maintaining this phone number. What do you have? What do you mean, what do I have? What number do you have? I don't have your phone number in front of me. It probably came up on your on your uh, display. It's not coming up on my display. Is that correct? That is correct. This is the dispatch office for Western State Mental Hospital in Washington State. No, you're talking to the North Dakota State Hospital. Yes, it is. That's what my display shows. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. But you are not coming up on my display. What number are these messages coming from? I would I like to assume that you would have like an LED display that you could tell me what telephone number is calling and leaving these messages. I do have an LED display. However, your number is not displaying for me. I am looking at the LED display.
I picked up the phone, and you were on the other end. And I picked up, my phone rang into me, and it was you. Pardon me? And I picked up the telephone because my phone rang, and it was you. So it, all I'm trying to say is it's not, it's not coming from me. And I didn't call you. Okay, and, and what, so who called you? You called me. No. Who called us? I No, I did not. I don't even have your phone number. My phone rang, and you were on the other end. And my phone rang, and you were on the other end. Okay, that's fine. You have a broken display. Well, I assure you, I didn't call you. So I'm sorry. I'm not sure who called you, but it was not me. I've been here for five hours. I have no interest in calling your facility. Is Ryan Schumann on the other end? So I don't know if somebody transferred me to you, but I did not. Okay, and, and, and what? Your so, facility. what number are you dialing when you try to when you try to track this individual down? Uh, track what individual down? I'm not tracking anybody down. I have no need to track anybody down. Slow down a little bit. Hello. Hello, I'm right here. Okay. Okay, and and what? So, the, the, well, who, who, so what? What number is two two one two? I have no idea Terrific. what number two two one two is. I two, wasn't placing two, any calls. One. What, what's two two one two? I don't know. I don't have any All idea I know what two two one two is. My phone number rang. My phone number rang. I picked it up. You were on the other end. And you were I, on the other end. You were on the other end of my phone call. I am answering right now. You might have a bogus telephone number. I don't have a bogus phone number. This is the main phone number to the North Dakota State Hospital. I did not call anyone. No, no, that is incorrect. This is the dispatch office for Western State Mental Hospital in Washington State. 329-6354-252-6350. That is the main number for Western State Hospital. Okay. I'm tired of this conversation, sir. Have a good evening. Okay. Thanks for contact, Queen. Uh, this is Nate. What? But, uh, it's a Dollar General. Oh, this is Dairy Quinn. Dollar General Rugby. Dairy Quinn. The what district? Hello? Uh, this is Nate. Dollar General Rugby. What can I get for you? But, uh... It's a Dollar General. Uh, this is a Dollar General number, phone number. No, this is Dairy Queen. Okay, I get that, but... It's a Dollar General. This is a Dollar General phone? No, it's Dairy Queen. But, uh... Yeah! I don't know. Okay, hold on. Give me one second. I can call my boss really quick. Hello? 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 Okay, and, and what? So, who called us? What's that? Pardon me? This is Dairy Queen. That is incorrect. Who called us? We haven't called her. No. I picked up the phone, and you were on the other end. We've got called here twice now, and they're saying it's this Dollar General. Are you trying to get my telephone number or your tel the telephone number that you're calling from right now? What number just called uh, you? Um, hold on, I'll look it up. 
It's like a two one eight. It's not even a. I don't even know what it is. So are you from Dollar General? Correct. In rugby. That is correct. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is Dairy Queen in rugby. But it, the phone's ringing here twice, and I picked it up. Okay, and and what? So what number called you? Oh, um, I gotta look at the caller ID. So hold on one second. Okay. Um, if I hang up, I'm trying to look at the caller ID, so I'm, I'm not trying to hang up, but it might. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yes. Okay. Two one six. Two one six. Slow down a little bit. Two one six. Three two nine. Start from the very beginning, okay? The number that I am answering right now is two one six. Hello. Yeah. Start from the very beginning, okay? Two, one, slow down a little bit. Two, one, six, six, okay, then three, three, two, two, nine, eight, nine, okay, six, three, two, six, eight, nine, okay, that's fine. What's the last four? Two one six three four eight nine six three five one zero. No. Pardon me. I'll start off again. No, that was wrong. <clears throat> That's what my display shows. Well, it's kind of like that, but it's a little bit different. But what number do you have? Two one six three two nine. Two one six. Yep. What's the last four? Three, two, Six three five zero. Okay, two one six area code belongs to North American Nuremberg Plan. Well, okay, and and what? So so what? What number is two two one two? I have no idea. This is just the number they've called here twice, and they were asking if it was Dollar General. No, someone has been calling you. Yeah. Twice, just twice in the last like ten minutes before I was talking to you. Hey, is there maybe someone else that you can put on the line? Um, I'm the owner, so. Okay, that's fine. I'm trying to help you out, but you're not helping me at all. What do you want? Who called us? Nobody from here called you. I've been getting called twice. I well, I'm receiving a telephone phone. call from one three two nine six three five four two five two. Six three five zero one two zero. So I'm getting weird, weird phone calls. From, I said I don't know who any of those numbers are, and I'm getting weird numbers too. That's so I don't know what's happening. So it, all I'm trying to say is it's not it's not coming from me. Okay, yeah, it's not coming from me either. Is what I'm saying. So I don't know. I don't know. Like, but I wasn't talking to you the first time. They were talking in like a weird accent. I don't know. I picked up the phone, and you were on the other end. Yeah, so when I, I was talking to someone else first, when I when I answered, it was somebody else talking before you started talking. Pardon me? When I picked up the phone and said hello, there was someone else talking before you started hello? talking. Hello? Hello? Leavers, Tracy speaking. How may I help you? Um, where are you calling from again? What are you talking about? You called me. Uh, what? 
This is the Northern yeah, Lights call, Hotel. Yeah, you call it me. It's a hotel. This is a rugby. grocery. This is a grocery store. Um, what? This is this the is front a, desk. This. Okay, we didn't call you. You called us. Somebody here apparently was calling. When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. The Northern Lights Inn. Yeah, but we didn't call anybody. <laughs> Did anybody use a phone here? How much you call this here besides you and me? No, I no, huh? Because they would You're have being... to, uh, they they would have to get this phone to call out. There's no other phone that they can get get in contact with unless they tell us. You're being recorded, so you can't lie. I'm not lying. Okay. Hold on one moment while I get a hold of our local sheriff's department. What are you talking about? Rugby Police Department, him speaking. I have somebody keep calling. Why would they be calling us in Rugby at the North? They're saying I'm wrong. Did they tell you what the nature of the calls were about? I believe they said it was pretty perverted. Yeah, I can... Ask my officer to stop by and see if he has an opinion on it, if you like. I would like that. Thank you. Okay, Tracy, okay. I will tell him to look the front desk, okay? All right, thank you. Well, right. actually, you're, you're on speakerphone, and they're listening to you right now. Yes, uh, yes, I can hear him. Okay. My name's Timothy Lockerquist. I'm the dispatcher for Pierce County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, I'm Marriott Leavers here. Okay. I sent an officer out to the Northern Lights, if that's what you're referring to, the all in from there. Front desk gal at the front Northern Lights, Tracy Prowitz called me. I sent an officer down there to see if he can sort out who you guys are saying somebody's making obscene phone calls. Nobody. Uh, we had, this is, somebody called us just here. That's it. Trying to figure that out. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, we don't make calls out of here. Somebody would have to tell us. Um, What? Where are you calling from again? Leavers. What number do you have? We, we're 5889. 216. We're 776. Right. Yeah. 1776. Five, I mean 5776. No, we're 5889. Now, how can I help you? Are you talking to me? Come to the front desk. Who's supposed to come to the front desk? This is the Northern Lights Hotel. I'm in Rugby, yes, North know. Dakota. So am I. Okay, that is fine. Come to the front desk of the hotel. I can't come to the front desk. I'm the manager here at the store. And why am... would I come down there? Um, what? What are you talking about? Come to the front desk. I can't come to the front desk. I'm here at Leavers. And rugby. Please do not call me. I'm going to call I did not, our I cops did not again call if you, if you. and have them listen in again. Nobody called here. Because that's how hotels work. When you Nobody call called. this number, no, you no, get the no, front no. desk of the hotel. Call. Are you on drugs or what? No, no, no. You're being recorded so you can't lie. See, the thing is calling Leavers, so I can help you. You're being recorded so you can't lie. Who is this? The Northern Lights Inn. We're not calling you tonight, so stop harassing us. I am not a sir. Third Street Station. This is the front desk. This is the Northern Lights Hotel. It's a hotel Rubby. in Rugby. Please, Rugby the Police Department, this is the Fraud Department. How can I help you? 
You're being recorded, so you can't lie. Uh. There's three stations. Uh, what? Come to the There's front desk station. of the hotel. What? Come to the front desk. The Northern Lights Inn. You were calling Rugby? No. North Dakota. We I'm are in Rugby, North Dakota. It's huh? a hotel in Rugby? No, we don't in... No, honey. No. You're calling no. Third Street Station. It's a bar and grill on Main Street in Rugby. This is the Northern Lights Hotel. I'm in Rugby, it's North Dakota. Not the Northern Lights Hotel. No. No. I'm in Rugby, North Dakota. You reach the main you desk of right the now? hotel. Oh, you're at the main desk. Right. Okay. What can I help you with? Somebody here apparently was calling. When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I get it now. You know what's happening. Um, I work at Lee's, too, at the bar over here. Okay. And we've been getting these phone calls also. We had literally um, Wisconsin's um, police department calling us saying, you just called this number. And we're like, no, we didn't. And then he's like, yes, you have. Yes, you have. We're like, we did not call you. He goes like, we have caller ID. I'm like, well, we did not call you. I have one phone, and it's under the bar, and I haven't used, you know, the phone. And then... Uh, I see doubles had the same damn phone call like a couple of days ago, and now you're saying, yeah. There's an, there's this, I think there's somebody messing around with everybody. There's an app that you can use. Like, I can call you and make it look like someone else is calling you. I think that's what's going on. What number do you have? What do you mean, honey? Um. Because we haven't been calling you. I mean, I'm, I'm swearing to you right now, this number has not called Northern Lights. No, I think... She, the front desk? Well, yeah, but give me, somebody's give me, giving her prank calls, too, give though. Me, give me, give me the okay. Phone. Hey, hon. Tracy Hello. speaking. How may I help you? Who is this? Tracy. Okay, and you're at... What's your address? This is the Northern Lights Hotel... Okay, what's your address? Third, Third Street, Street Station. Station. You're being recorded, down. so you can't lie. Put it down. No, no, no. Hold on one moment while I get a hold of our local sheriff's department. I have somebody keep... Hello. I have somebody keep calling. It's nobody from my business, ma'am. I am the only one able to They're hold saying I'm the wrong. phone here. You are very wrong. I believe they said it was pretty perverted. Yeah, I can. I would like that. Thank you. Okay, Tracy, I will tell them to look the front desk, okay? All right, thank you. Okay. Hello? Well, actually, you're, you're on speakerphone, and they're listening to you right now. Are you still that there? That would be amazing, because I'm pretty sure they know me. <laughs> okay. Nobody here is going to prank call and make perverted calls to the rugby police department. My name's Timothy Lockerquist. I'm the dispatcher for Pierce County Sheriff's Office. <laughs> Okay. You know who okay. I am then? Yeah. I sent an officer out to the Northern Lights, if that's what you're referring to. The, all I am there. not at the Northern Lights. Front desk gal is the front Northern Lights, okay. Tracy Prowitz called me. I sent an officer down there to see if he can sort out. Okay, but you guys keep You guys are saying somebody's Street making obscene Station. phone calls? Oh, my God. You guys keep calling Third Street Station. Uh, what? You are calling, what, what, what we've been trying no. to tell you, you're calling 3rd Street Station. No. no, no, no. This is 
the Northern Lights Hotel. Okay, who am I speaking to right now, Tracy? Tracy. That is right. Tracy Prowitz? Right. Tracy Prowitz, you're talking to Tracy Corum. Uh, what? Yeah, hi. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I keep getting like 85 phone calls. Everybody in town. And obviously nobody here at my bar with all eight of us in here is not calling the Northern Lights or wherever this is going. When Only you I have call access. this number, you get the front desk of the hotel because that's how hotels work. Nobody here is calling your number, honey. It reads this number. Okay, you're probably getting intervened with somebody else lines crossed. It's just us here. Now, how can I help you? How can you help me? You can help me by quick calling me. Uh, I was going to say, if it's Tracy Crowley, she's not going to fucking go along with that. Okay. I am born a woman, okay? Let's get that straight first. Please do not call me sir. Hang up. Just don't call me sir. Just, I am, I am sorry, sir. not a sir. Just, I am so sorry, ma'am. That is fine. She was in here doing our Oh, that's crazy. Okay. So, anyways, you guys got to quit calling our number. No, no, no. Somebody here apparently was calling. That's what this is. Okay, well, nobody is calling your number from this establishment. <laughs> right. Okay, but you guys keep calling us. But I can't tie up my lines, dibby-dallying with this, because I'm losing sales being on the line with you. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Two doubles. Uh, is what? Hello. Okay, this is a, okay. This is Officer Ed Powell with the Cleveland Police Department. Okay. Uh, uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. Terrific. Uh, I don't know. I was just visited by the cops in town here last night, and they said when I get this call, I'm supposed to call them right back. Uh, why? What that? Why? Uh, because they say there's some chicanery going on. Uh, well, the, listen to what I'm saying, sir. We just had uh, several phone calls from this number, okay? And the individual, had, and we're leaving Lulud and Lascivious phone companies. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers, and he also had other things what? that was threatening the officers. That's why we were able to contact this number and call this individual right back. Okay. So where are you from? This is, this is the Cleveland Police 3rd District that you have. Cleveland Police, Cleveland, Ohio? Yes, and it was... Okay. What's that? Yes. Cleveland, Ohio. Yes. Huh. Strange. Obviously, somebody's playing games. Uh, this is a business in downtown Rugby, North Dakota. So. Okay. I don't know. We just received several phone calls from this number, okay, leaving lewd and serious remarks, not only to us, but for the captain okay, well, and the lieutenant like here. I recommend it's what? you call the local police department. It's 776-6112. 776-252. What's the other? It's 701-776-672. I'm sorry, you said 70 what, sir? Yes, 701-776-6112. Uh, no, you said 87 one, two, six, seven, two. And what's the last four digits? It's seven zero one seven okay. seven six okay. six one one two. Slow down a little bit. Start from the Start very from the beginning. Seven zero one 
Seven. One. Seven, seven, six. One. Seven seven six. Okay. Six one one two. Six one two zero. <laughs> six one one two. Okay, that's fine. Uh, well, the uh, we have two calls from this number. Again, we 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 must tell you that you are being taped. Well, that's good to know. I'm glad you're taping it because I had nothing to goddamn do with it. Why? Why what? Is there, is there anybody else that's why, calling? Why, why would you have you heard of a uh, spoof phones? No, have it's you not. Heard of that? Is, that, is that something new to you? No, it's not. You do realize that this is the captain that you're talking with. Do you realize this is a business owner? Uh, yeah, we heard you, sir. Okay, who's okay. calling this number? Who's calling us here at this district? That's what we want to know. I have no idea who's calling you. It's somebody using a spoof card. It's a spoof call, apparently, because it's happening at the other establishments in town, too. I just had uh, the officer pardon, in last night. Officer Travis, I don't know his last name, he was in last evening saying this is happening to other businesses in town, too. That you, somebody's calling the business saying that they're getting calls from the other businesses. Well, the, what we're having right now is we have uh, the folks listening to this conversation as uh, we're listening to you, listening to, the, you know, the folks listening, and uh, we're listening to you right come, now. Come, come and arrest me then. <laughs> Jeez, what the hell is the holdup? Sir, we're not, not mad. We're trying to find out people. who's calling us here at this district. <laughs> I have no idea. I, I'm just, this is rugby, Sir. North Dakota, a town there's more people living in an apartment building in Cleveland and lives in this entire damn town. Okay. Now, do you realize, just like I said before, that this conversation is being recorded? That's spectacular. And, Book uh, me, Dan Well, sir, this is the number that just called. <laughs> That's good. I had nothing to do with it, okay? Call okay. the local police department, report it to them, have them okay. come down here, cuff me and stuff me, and my attorney will have me out, and we'll have a lawsuit you, filed you, against you, you tomorrow. Now you, How's that? Now, you say, now you said you were who, sir? I'm nobody. I'm a nihilist living in rugby, North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody's blowing smoke up your ass. Uh, No, it's not. I'm, so listen to what I've been taping from this number. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, Cleveland Police. Hey, Chum Guzzler. Cleveland Police, can I help him? Really worship my cock. Better than my hand right now, and it's um, getting hard. Balls rubbing against your chin. And before I come, I'm going to squeeze your nose, and you're going to take it all. Can you handle that? Of course. Think you can handle that? Okay. Are y'all listening to this? Yeah, I listened to it. That's why we called you back. So, what makes you think it was me? Well, sir, this is the number that just called, that, okay? That's why we were able to contact of, this okay. number right back. All, all the cops, okay? I don't have time for this. Who are no, you again? I didn't, who, what, I didn't who again, sir? Call. Who am I? Why uh, is that relevant? Well, the, who, is the, who is there with you, sir? Travis, just call Travis or call, uh, oh, Josh Siegler, the sheriff in Pierce County, North Dakota. And okay. Them, so. Okay. Uh, no, you said RR what? I have to run. I've got customers now. So who, I what? just call the, poli- call the police department. Sir, who are you talking to? Thank you. You Good do bye. realize that this is Officer Ed Powell you're talking with. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Yeah. I don't know. How, okay. Welcome to Dollar General on Rugby. Uh, this is Nate. Nate? Oh, Nate. It's Nate. Hello? But, uh, my name's Nate. Yes, Nate? I don't know. How, okay, hold on. Give me one second. You know what number you're calling me from right now, sir?
Uh, this is a Dollar General number, phone number. Hey. Uh, this hey. is Nate. Call me on my cell. I don't think anybody in this store wants to have sex with you. Terrific. Okay, you know what? Yeah, you're stuttering a lot. Thank you for calling Dakota Farms. Dollar General Rugby. Uh, this is Nate. Um, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, this is a Dollar General number, phone number. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is the Dakota Farms restaurant in rugby. Clearly wrong. Dollar General Rugby. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't have that number, but yeah, it must be Okay, I get that, but Northern Lights Hotel, okay? What does that have to do with Dollar General? You guys did this last time. I don't know, sir. That's... I have the hotel's number, if that's what you're looking for. Clearly what? wrong. This is a Dollar General phone? No, I'm so sorry. I don't know. Yeah, you're stuttering a lot. Yeah, sorry. I just say, don't know what you want from me. I don't understand how anybody called you from this phone when you called us and our phone has been sitting there on the hook while we were throwing out freight. We can show you the cameras. Where are you calling from exactly? I just don't understand the problem. It's a Dollar General. Dollar General Rugby. Sounds okay. Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't know how our phone numbers could be connected because I haven't had any numbers directed to you that I've been told, so I'm not You know sure. what number you're calling me from right now, sir? I'm a ma'am, and I'm calling you from the Dakota Farms dining room number. Okay, I get that, but this is a Dollar General phone? No. Clearly wrong. It's a Dollar General. Right. So sorry, sir. If there's nothing I can do to help you, I don't really know. Yeah. What if you're going to sit here and try to get angry with me. But, Is uh, there anything I can do for you? I yeah. If so, like, I don't think anybody in this store wants to have sex with you. Me? Yeah. Uh, sir, if it doesn't pertain to my business, I don't have any intention of continuing this phone call. Um, okay, you know what? I can call my boss really quick. Uh, you do that, sir. I don't have a manager here, but... Uh, but, uh, I don't know. How okay, hold on. Give me one second. Hello? Yes? Who called us? Uh, no, I'm so sorry. I just picked up our phone that was ringing, asking if there was something I could do. I'm from the Dakota Farms restaurant dining room. Someone has been calling you? Uh, no, I got a call from this number. Our phone was ringing, so I answered. What number are these messages coming from? I would I like to assume that you would have like an LED display that you could tell me what telephone number is calling and leaving these messages. Uh, I haven't left any messages. I've been all alone today, but I'm not too sure what you're talking about. Okay, and, and what, so I picked up the phone and you were on the other end. Yes, because I got a phone call from this number, and I answered it. Are you trying to get my telephone number or your tel the telephone number that you're calling from right now? Um, no, I was answering the phone call from...
from you calling us, asking if I could do anything for you. Pardon me? I got a phone number, or a phone call from this number, and I just answered it. I used Start to from the very... Pardon me? Start from the very beginning, okay? Dakota Farms is Will. Can I help you? Hello? Hello? Who called us? Nah, no, you called us. No. I picked up the phone, yeah. and you were on the other end. Really? Because it rang here before we picked it up. Okay, uh, and, and what... Be- so... Pardon me? I was going to say, it's going to be one of them nights with the phones again. Yes, it is. Okay, and, and <laughs> what... So, are you trying to get my telephone number or your tel- the telephone number that you're calling from right now? No, no. The It rang here, so I picked it up because my waitress is busy and answered it, and I got you. Okay. What number do so, you have? Yeah. Uh, what is our number here? One second. Okay. You would think I work here. You think I would know the phone number? Oh, all all the time. Yeah, <laughs> uh, five six five seven is our number. Slow down a little bit. So it starts with Sorry. one. One. Seven zero oh, one. Seven 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 zero. Six. One. What's the last four? Five six five seven. Five six. Five, seven. Yep. That's what my display shows. That's just weird as hell. You might have a bogus telephone number. Uh, we might. You never know. We'll look into it, though. Thank you. Okay. And and what? So, what number are you dialing when you try to when you try to track this individual down? Uh, we haven't dialed any numbers yet because this is the first time it's happened tonight. Pardon me? I said we haven't tracked anything because this is the first incident we've had of it tonight. Okay, and and what, so someone has been calling you? Uh, Earlier in the week, we had some prank calls and stuff. Is that correct? But our phone, our phones won't show a caller ID number. They're set up for it, but they don't show it for some reason. We probably don't subscribe to that service. Well, we're going to start from the very beginning, okay? Is Ryan Schumann leaving lewd messages? Not, no. You know, I don't know who it was that called. I know the other night when they called, it it was, no, I had a female that called. Well, so all I'm trying to say is it's not coming from me. Okay, nope, that's fine. That's fine, and I understand that. It's somewhere somebody's dialing out, and the lines are getting crossed. So we'll get it figured out, though. Okay, that's fine. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, bye. Okay. Right now. Thank you for calling Colson and Sweet Rugby. Uh, My name is Leah. How may I help you? Uh, I, I, I beg your pardon? Excuse me. Uh, well, the okay. This is a, okay. This is Officer Ed Powell with the Cleveland Police Department. Uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. What do you mean? Uh, we just had uh, several phone calls from this number. Okay, and the individual ha- and we're leaving lewd and lascivious phone comments. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers, and he also had other things what? that was threatening the officers. That's why we were able to contact this number and call this individual right back. Okay, so we're a hotel. Okay. Uh, okay, who's calling this number? Who's calling us here at this district? That's what we want to know. I have no idea who calls from these rooms, sir. Well, that's why we were able to call you right back. Okay, would you like to speak to my boss? Uh, okay, okay, thank you, yeah. Would you like to speak to her? Yes, it All right, thank you. Hold on. Okay. Hi, how can I help you? Uh, is what? 
I, I, so I beg your pardon? You? Uh, uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. This is, this is the Cleveland Police 3rd District that you have. Okay. Uh, well, we just had uh, several phone calls from this number, okay? And the individual, ha and we're leaving lewd and lascivious phone comments. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers, and he also had other oh things that were threatening the officers. Oh my God. That's why we were able to contact why this number and call this individual right back. Oh, my God. Why would somebody do that? Oh, I can't believe oh. Oh my God! Oh, give me Jamal. I'm gonna call our police department uh, so I have someone to come out okay, here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh my God! I can't believe somebody would do that. Uh, well, the, sir, we're not mad. We're trying to find out who's calling us here at this district. Who's call? I I don't know. I don't know who's going. I I'll call our police department and they come out and they can run our phone records and take care of this because I just can't imagine somebody would do that here. Uh, my God. Well, the, we had two calls from this number. Yes, yes. Okay. Call, I, I got it. Yes, call the, but get the number for the sheriff's department. Give me that number. I'll call him right now. I can't believe somebody would do that. My God. Again, oh my God. we we're, we is, must tell you that you are being taped. That? Why would they do that? Why would somebody do something like that? Uh, That's just outrageous. I okay. Here is the sheriff's number. I will give them a call. Just, okay. Just give me a minute. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Okay. Thank you for calling Oakwood in. May I help you? Okay, okay, okay. This is a, okay. This is Officer Ed Powell with the Cleveland Police Department. Uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. Uh, somebody calling there? Well, we just had uh, several phone calls from this number, okay? And the individual, ha and we're leaving lewd and lascivious phone comments. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers, and he also had other things what? that was threatening the officers. That's why we were able to contact this number and call this individual right back. I'm the only one that's been out here. Again, we, we're, we must tell you that you are being taped. But the, I mean, nobody's been out here to use the phone. Well, that's why we were able to call you right back. Unless somebody came out here when I went outside to have a cigarette, but when was this? Uh, uh, 706 and 701. 701? Uh, that's why we called you back, okay? Yeah, I don't know what, what to say about that, because well, I haven't the, used the phone. Uh, I'm, okay. I don't know. We just received several phone calls from this number, okay, leaving lewd and serious remarks, not only to us, but for the captain and the lieutenant here. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. So, listen to what I've been mean, taping. Uh, I beg your pardon, sir? Yeah, I don't know what to say because, like I said, I, I'm the only one that's been out here on the housekeeper and stuff. Unless somebody came out and used the phone when I was outside having a cigarette. Uh, well, the, so listen to what I've been taping from this number, okay? Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Well, I'm not. I'm, yes, and it was, sir. We what have it on tape, okay? So listen to what I've been taping. Good afternoon, Cleveland Police. Hey, come guzzler. Cleveland Want Police, can I help him? Really worship my cock. Got it you in know my you're being taped right and I got you. I'm getting hard. Balls rubbing against your chin. And before I come, I'm going to squeeze your nose and you're going to take it all. Can you handle that? Court. Think you can handle that? Is there, is there anybody else that's calling? No. Nobody's been up here. I got all these here hospital workers that's working on the hospital and hunters, but only one kid came in here, one of the hunters, and came and got a toilet plunger, but then he left right away. He never used the phone. I don't even know what's going on. Uh. Well, the, what we're having right now is we have uh, 
the folks listening to this conversation as uh we're listening to you listening to the, you know the folks listening and uh we're listening to you right now yeah I mean, you can come out here and check. Uh, you do realize that this is the captain that you're talking with. And what's your name? Uh, Gregory Stevens. Okay. Now, do you realize, just like I said before, that this conversation is being recorded? Yes, I understand. Okay, what's your name? I think I'd rather have one of you guys come out here. Uh, you do realize that this is Officer Ed Powell you're talking with. I understand. Okay. But I said I'd rather have one of you guys, one of the police officers, come out here. Who is the who is there with you? Nobody's here with me. Uh, is there, is there anybody else that's calling? No, nobody else is here. Uh, okay. Who is this I'm talking to right now? I'm the housekeeper. Uh, is there that's you that's calling? No, it's not me that's calling. Who's this you that's calling the station here? I don't know who's calling the station. I'm the only one that's here. In the... Is there a not she that's calling? Huh? Sir, who's that? you talking to? I'm not, I'm just talking to you. Well, I'm, okay, I don't know. We just received several phone calls. From this number, okay, leaving lewd and lascivious remarks, not only to us, but for the captain and the lieutenant here. Yeah, I understand that, but I just don't know what's what's going on. I Nobody's used the phone here. I just use the phone when customers call. That's it. Okay. You do realize that this is the police department that you're talking with. I'm starting to wonder who in the heck I'm talking to. Why? Yeah. You do realize that this is the Mr. Curry, okay? Hangover's Bottle Shop, Jody speaking. Um, what? Hangover's Bottle Shop. This is the Northern Lights Hotel. Okay. It's a hotel in Rugby? Right. Where are you calling from again? No, you called me, and this is the Hangover's Bottle Shop. (sighs) No. Somebody here apparently was calling. When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. Okay, well, honey, I am, I'm right next door to the hotel, but I am a, I am a liquor store. Uh, what? A liquor store? You reached the main desk of the hotel. Okay. Ma'am, 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 you called me. I am not a sir. I am born a woman, okay? Let's get that ma'am. straight first. Excuse me, ma'am. Please do not call me sir. Ma'am, I'm calling you ma'am. A- okay. A ma'am. It's polite. Okay, and you called, you called me... No. And I am the hangover. No, no, shop. no. When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. You're being recorded, okay. so you can't lie. Okay, well, I did not call you, so go ahead and record me. But you need to call the right hotel, and this is not a hotel. This is an alcohol no, shop. No, no. This yes. is yes. the Northern Man, would you Lights like to Hotel. To a of mine? No, it is not the Northern no. Lights. No. This is the front desk. At Northern Lights? The Northern Lights Inn. 
you reached the main desk of the hotel. Okay, well, I didn't call you. Hold on one moment while I get a hold of our local sheriff's department. Okay, call the sheriff's department because I'll let them know that you called me. I have somebody keep calling. Why was he calling us and Rugby Evan Horton? They're saying I'm wrong. Did they tell you what the nature of the calls were about? I believe they said it was pretty perverted. Yeah, I can ask my officer to stop by and see if he has an opinion on it if you like. I would like that. Thank you. Okay, Tracy, I will tell him to look at the front desk, okay? All right, thank you. Well, actually, you're you're on speakerphone, and they're listening to you right now. That is perfectly sure. fine. In fact, I have a customer in front of me, and she knows yeah. exactly what is going on, and I have not called anybody. My I name is Timothy Lockerquist. I'm the dispatcher for Pierce County Sheriff's Office. Hello. Hi. I am Jody at Hangovers, the bottle shop right next door to the, to the hotel. Okay. And sh- the woman claims that I'm calling her. She just called me, and I have a customer in front of me that witnessed the phone ringing, and I answered it. Trying to figure that out. I sent an officer up to the Northern Lights, if that's what you're referring to. The all in from there. Front desk okay, gal at well, the front she... Northern Lights, Tracy Prowitz called me. I sent an officer down there to see if he can sort out who. You guys are saying somebody's making obscene phone calls. I don't know who it is, but I work at the I look I work at the liquor store right next door. Okay. So I don't know who she's calling and talking about. Oh, Northern Lights is way down the road. Oh, okay. Yes, Northern Lights is way down the road, honey, at Dakota Farms. Yeah. See, and I work at right. Hangovers, and I've not called anybody. When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel, because that's how okay. hotels work. I've, I've not called you. I just answered the phone when it rang here. I am a, a bottle shop. I didn't call no front desk. Why would I call a front desk when I have my own business to run? What number do you have? I don't have a number. In fact, I didn't call anybody. I just answered my phone when it rang. In fact, I have a customer standing in front of me that witnessed the phone ringing, and I just answered it. So whoever is calling you, that's coming from inside that hotel, not from Hangover's Bottle Shop. It reads this number. Well, ma'am, I'm sorry, but it's not me. I have been born a woman, okay? Okay, ma'am, M-A-M, Miss. That is right. I am a very, I'm 53 years old. Don't tell okay. me how to talk. But I'm letting you know, nobody Let's get calls that you straight first. I am not a I'm sir. Called. Oh, well, I didn't call you a sir. Now, how can I help you? I don't need your help. I have my own business to run. You called me. When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. Well, I didn't this call is the front number, desk. honey. I'm letting you know. I am, you're holding up my job. Which no. I, I'm no. letting you know I did not no. call your hotel. No, you're right. No, I did no. not call your hotel. Please do not exactly. call me. I'm not going to call you because I haven't called you in the first place and I don't know your damn number. I'm going to call so our I'm cops call, again if you I'm if, and have them listen in again. You and saying that you're harassing me. How's that? Would Come you like to that? the front desk of the hotel. I am not in your damn hotel. Come I'm working the at the bottle shop down the road. Come to the front desk. I am not going to go to your front desk because I'm not even in your fucking hotel. Now I'm getting upset. You reach the main desk of the hotel. Okay, well, main desk yourself. I work at the Hangover's Bottle Shop down the road. You called me. I didn't call no. you. No, 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 no. This is no, no, no. the yes, Northern you did Lights because Hotel. Because I've got a witness right here in front of me. Go ahead. I'm going to call 911, and I'm going to say that you're harassing me because I'm trying to do my fucking job, and you're sitting here saying that I called you. This Excuse is the you. front desk. Well, I'm sorry. You can be the front desk. I am a worker at the Hangover's Bottle Shop down the road. That is fine. Why the fuck would I call you? You're being recorded, so you can't lie. 
Well, go ahead. Record me. My name is Jody Maytacher. I work at the Hangover's Bottle Shop. Send the police officer down here because I will let them know exactly what's going on. Thank you very much for harassing me. You okay. have a wonderful night. Right. Seventy dollar. How may I help you? Um. What? Hello. This is the Northern Lights Hotel. It's a hotel in Rugby. No, this is not normal Northern Lights. No. Family no. You reach the main desk of the hotel. Terrific. Okay. Somebody just caught here. No. Somebody here apparently was calling. What was that again? When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. This is Family Dollar Store. Our uh, phone is what? Wrong. Where are you calling from again? She said this is the Northern Lights, and she's saying we called over there. Mm, no, we didn't. No. You reached the main desk of the hotel. We didn't call. You're being recorded, so you can't lie. The Northern Lights Inn, that's what this is. We just, the phone just rang, and we just picked it up. When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. Hotel. Thank you for calling Family Dollar. For English, remain on the line, or for Spanish, press 4. For our store hours, press 1. For our store address, press 2. If you'd like to speak to a member of our store team, press 3. Hi, thank you for calling Bruno's. How may I help you? Oh, uh, it's what? Hello, sir. Can you explain to me what's going on? Going on with what, sir? The CPD called the Hyatt Regency in downtown Cleveland, and they called my supervisor, and Ed Powell said, pull the phone records and get them over right now. I'm sorry, sir. I don't understand what you're talking about. Sorry, what was that? I don't understand what you're talking about. You no, I understand that. Um... Sorry, what was that? Did you say something about Cleveland? And you're with the CPD? Um, we're um, at Bruno's. I understand. This is the Hyatt Regency in downtown Cleveland. Okay. Okay. So, Mr. McLean, he said the front desk called the guest. And they called the Hyatt, so... Who called? Um... I don't know. Um... I'm, I'm very confused. I'm also confused, sir. Okay. Can you tell me the phone number that's calling you? Um, I can't tell you what phone number that's calling me. Okay. Um, can you explain to me what's going on? Going on where, sir? At Bruno's? Yes. There's nothing going on at Bruno's, sir. Um... This phone number here, he said it could be a guest, and they called 911, and Ed Powell called, so... Um, I wasn't aware of that. Sorry, what was that? I wasn't aware of anyone calling 911. No, it's not me. They called 911 is what you're saying. No, no one called 911. Um, 
could it be one of the guests that are calling off the phones? Um, the phones are in the back, and none of the guests have access to the back, so that wouldn't be possible. Um, can I speak with the manager? Or? Um, the manager isn't here right now, so... Their supervisor on shift? Yeah, one second. Okay. So... Hello, you wanted to speak to a supervisor? Yes. Um, Hi, what can I do for you? Can you fill me in on what's going on? I'm not sure what you're pertaining to. Can you fill me in? Okay. Um, so, uh, the CPD called the Hyatt Regency in downtown Cleveland, and they called my what supervisor. Is the CPD? And Ed Powell said, pull the phone records and get them over right now. I'm not sure what you're talking about, sweetie. What is a CCP? This and is Bruno's, a little restaurant. No, I understand that. And you're with the CPD? The, what is CPD? That's what he said? No, I'm asking what is CPD? Um... So, Mr. McLean, he said the front desk called the guest, and they called the Hyatt, so... I think you may have the wrong number, love. No. This is a restaurant. No. Yes. I'm. What would you like from me? I guess that would be the better question. So, from my understanding, can you explain to me what's going on? I have no idea. My hostess answered the phone because she takes the to-go orders okay. for the food, and she didn't know what to do, so she handed me the phone, and I'm not sure what to do, my darling. I, I'm not sure what this is pertaining to. Um, this phone number here, he said it could be a guest, and they called 911, and Ed Powell called, so... Oh, uh, maybe the numbers got mixed up? I'm... I, Nobody called from here. This phone number here? Yeah, this phone number is a restaurant's phone number, like a little small town restaurant. We make burgers, milkshakes, and fries. One, two, three, five. One, two, seven, four, six, five, two, one. And this is the hotel's phone number. Uh, yeah, we're next door to the hotel, but... Yeah, I, I have no idea. It, it might, yeah, you might want to try the hotel. The hotel. So, from my understanding, it's coming from the hotel's number. Oh, the, yeah, the hotel, you'd have to call the Milltown. I believe that's what it's called, the Milltown Motel um, in Eatonville. The number to the um, hotel? Do I have the number to the hotel? Yes. I can see one second. Okay. Let me, let me Google it. The Mill Village, all right. Where's their number? All right, are you ready? Yes. Okay, it is one eight four four. One, four. Seven four. No, four. one eight four four. Okay. Six. Eight four nine okay. nine four two eight four two. 
and eight. Okay. Um, you might have better luck calling them because I I don't know what I can do for you, darling. All right. All right. Have a good day, hon. Okay. Solid ground. How may I help you? Um. What? <laughs> Where are you calling from again? Solid ground. Okay. Um, you reached the main desk of the hotel. That's what this is. What'd you say? This is the Northern Lights Hotel. It's a hotel in rugby. Okay. <sighs> I'm sorry, ma'am. We did not call you. Someone must have called you and it wasn't us. No. You're being recorded, so you can't lie. We're being recorded? Right. Now, how can I help you? We didn't mean to call. When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm very confused right now. Um, what? I am not a sir. I am born a woman, okay? Let's get that straight first. Please do not call me sir. I'm not saying sir. I'm saying ma'am. Come to the front desk of the hotel. Okay. Okay. The Northern Lights Inn. I understand that. You're from the Northern Lights Inn. Come to the front desk. I'm not in the hotel. Where are you calling from again? We are calling from a whole other business in rugby. We are <sighs> across town. I'm in rugby, North Dakota. We are too, but we are not in your business. We are on our own business. Hold on one moment while I get a hold of our local sheriff's department. Rugby Police Department, Tim speaking. I have somebody keep calling. Why would they call on us in rugby at the Northern Lights? They're saying I'm wrong. Did they tell you what the nature of the calls were about? I believe they said it was pretty perverted. Yeah, I can ask my officer to stop by and see if he has an opinion on it, if you like. I would like that. Thank you. Okay, Tracy, I will tell him to look the front desk, okay? All right, thank you. Well, actually, you're you're on speakerphone, and they're listening to you right now. We Are you still there? Anything. Yes, I'm right here, but we didn't do anything, ma'am. You're being recorded, so you can't lie. My we name is Timothy I'm Lockerquist. I'm the dispatcher for Pierce County Sheriff's Office. Hello? Yeah. I sent an officer out to the Northern Lights, if that's what you're referring to, the all in from there. Front desk gal at the front Northern Lights, Tracy Prowitz called me. I sent an officer down there to see if he can sort out who you guys are saying somebody's making obscene phone calls. Not that I'm aware of. Trying to figure that out. I'm trying to figure that out. You are. I'm so sorry. I'm so confused right now. My name's Timothy Lockerquist. I'm the dispatcher for Pierce County Sheriff's Office. Okay. Where are you calling from again? The coffee shop on Main Street? No, no, no. This is the Northern Lights Hotel. Excuse Let's get that me? straight first. You reached the main desk of the hotel. We did not we did not call you. When you, you call us. this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. Yes, I understand that. Ma'am? Right. Um, I don't know who called you, but we did not call you. It reads this number. Okay, sorry. We have to go now. Okay. I'm going to call our cops again if you, if, and have them listen in again. What'd you say? I'm going to call our cops again if... Please do not call me. 
Your cops? Yes. That is fu- right. We did not call you, ma'am. You called us. Please do not call me, sir. I have I been not call you, sir. born I did a not woman. Call you, sir. Let's get that straight first. I am not a sir. I know that, ma'am. What number do you have? We never called this. I'm sorry. We have to go by. Okay. I'm really sorry. Solid ground. How can I help you? Uh, well, the, uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. I'm sorry. What was that? Uh, okay. This is a. Okay, this is Officer Ed Powell with the Cleveland Police Department. Uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. I don't think anybody has called because we are a coffee shop, so... Is what? Uh, I beg your pardon? Um, I said just that I don't think anybody is calling you because we are a coffee shop and we don't make calls out. We take calls uh, for delivery, but... Listen to what I'm saying. No we just had uh, several phone calls... From this number, okay, and the individual, ha- and we're leaving Lulude and Lascivious phone numbers. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers, and he also had other things what? that was threatening the officers. That's why we were able to contact this number and call this individual right back. Uh. You want your funeral home? Um, What? Me want her funeral home. This is the Northern Lights Hotel. Where are you calling from again? Who are you calling from? This is the Me want her funeral home in Rugby, North Dakota. Who are you calling? This is the Northern Lights Hotel. It's a hotel in Rugby? There is one, yes. You reach the main desk of the hotel. I didn't call anybody. You called Somebody. me. No, no, no. Somebody here apparently was calling. When you call this number, you get the front desk of the hotel. I didn't call you. You're being recorded, so you can't lie. Yeah, goodbye. The Northern Lights Inn. Me want your funeral home. Now, how can I help you? I don't know. You're calling me. No. The Northern Lights Inn. That's what this is. Yeah, I didn't call you. You called me. Goodbye. No. Please do not call me. Me want your funeral home. Uh, okay. This is a okay. This is Officer Ed Powell with the Cleveland Police Department. The who? Uh, uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. Who are you calling? Who is this calling? This is this is the Cleveland Police Third District that you have. Okay. Cleveland, Ohio. Yes. It- Hello. Uh, sir, we just had uh, several phone calls. From this number, okay, and the individual, ha- and we're leaving Lulude and Lascivious phone numbers. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers, and he also had other you things what? that was threatening the officers. That's why we were able well, to I contact haven't... this number and call this individual right back. I haven't called anybody on this phone. This is uh, the New Warner Funeral Home in Rugby, North Dakota. Sir, we had two calls from this number, okay. That's why we were well, able to contact this number right back. Yeah. I didn't call you. Goodbye. Uh, well, th- sir. Me wonder if you're no home. Uh, okay, who is this I'm talking to right now? The Me wonder if you're home in Rugby, North Dakota. Uh, okay. Well, I'm not, listen to what I'm saying, sir. We had two calls from this number. That's why we called you back. Well, I didn't call you. Sir. Okay, who's and calling no this number? Who's calling us here in this district? That's what we want to know. I'm the only one here, and I have not called you.
Well, the, we had two calls from this number. Sir, again, this we, we, we must recorded. tell you that you are being taped. Well, I didn't call you. So, Goodbye. Again, this conversation is being recorded. New owner funeral home. Well, I'm, well, I'm, well, I'm, okay. Are y'all, are y'all listening to this? Well, the, what we're having right now is we have uh, the folks listening to this conversation. As uh, we're listening to you, listening to the, you know the folks listening, and uh, we're listening to you right now. I didn't now. call you, sir. This well, is I'm a business. Not, this is a funeral home. I did not call Cleveland, well, that's, Ohio. Well, I don't even well, that's know what, Well, that's here. why we were able to call you right back. Yeah, well, I didn't well, call you. Uh, why? 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 Sir. Yes. What do you want? Uh, well, the, you do realize that this is the captain that you're talking with. I don't really care. I did not call you. Well, that's why we were able to call you right back. Well, I don't know what you're able to do, but I did not call sir, you. Sir, I don't even know sir, anybody in sir, Cleveland, Ohio. Sir, sir, listen to what I've been taping from this number. Okay. Good afternoon, Cleveland Police. Hey, come guzzler. Cleveland Police, can I help him? Really worship my cock. Got it you in know my you're being taken. Right I got you. I'm getting hard. Balls. Well, there's no one. There's no one here. And there's the no one here. And squeeze except the nose, me. And you're gonna take it all. There's no one here with me, and I did not call you. Think you Goodbye. Can handle that? Well, I'm, yeah, we heard you, sir. Yes. I'm not, I'm, we just received several phone calls. Okay. Well, Again, I don't this conversation know what you is got, being recorded. But I did not call you. And there's nobody here but me, and I did not call you. So is there you, you, you is got a problem you, with your you, phone. Is there that's you that's calling? I'm not calling you. I'm not calling anybody. Who's this you that's calling the station here? I don't even know who you are, Let so I couldn't call you if I wanted to. This is the Cleveland Police Department. Yeah, I'm in North Dakota. That's okay. 3,000 miles from you. Yeah, we heard you, sir. Is there, is there anybody else that's calling? No. There's nobody here but me. Uh, well, that's why we were able to call you right back. Well, I can't help you with that. Well, I'm, why? Here's the number you should call. You do realize that we're recording what you're saying. Please call 776 seven, I'm sorry, you said 70 what, sir? 701. Start seven, from the seven, very six. beginning, okay? Slow down a little bit. So it starts with 1. 701. Seven, seven, zero, 1. Okay. 776. Seven, Pardon me? 582. I didn't say that. That's what my display shows. Are you trying to get my telephone number or your tel- the telephone number that you're no, calling I'm from right now? Who, I'm telling you who to call. Someone has been calling you? No, you have. Who called us? No, I didn't. Goodbye. Get off okay, my and, phone. Okay, and what? So get, you're, you're get broken. Every phone. other word is cutting out. Get off my phone. Slow down a little bit. Thanks for calling, Blabor. Hello. Hello. Okay, and and what? So, who called us? Who called you? Who called us? Wait, can I ask who this is? You don't need my name. I'm a security officer. You're a security officer. Yes. Yep. I, I'm 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 just getting in, and you just. So that's why I'm asking. I don't know what's going on. Who called us? Give me one second. Okay, that's fine. Hello? Hello? Okay, Can you and, hear me? and what? So. Yep. Go ahead. What were you saying? Who called us? I'm not sure who called you. Pardon me? No. I said, I'm not sure who called you. This this is a bar number. That's what my display shows. The last guy said that we were calling him and leaving lewd messages. 
I don't know. I, I may, maybe someone called called by mistake, but we do apologize. Pardon me. I said I, we do apologize, but maybe someone dialed the number by mistake. I mean, who that is know? incorrect. I picked up the phone, and you were on the other end. I was on the other end. Okay, and and what? So I am answering right now. I am looking at the LED display. Okay, and, and what? I, listen, so, I don't give a shit what you have or who called you. None I'm of trying to help you out, you. but you're not helping me have at all. A good night. I'm not helping you because nobody called you. Hey, is there maybe someone else that you can put on the line? No, I'm the owner of this business, and you need to stop calling or I'll, I'll report it. What number Thank just you. called you? Quality in, Dave speaking. Okay, this is a, okay. This is Officer Ed Powell with the Cleveland Police Department. With the Cleveland Police Department. Yeah, this is the Cleveland Police Department. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know anything about any Cleveland Police Department. Well, the, you know, and uh, uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. Well, I, I, I don't have a clue. Uh, I'm the only one on duty, sir. Okay, uh, listen to what I'm saying, sir. We just had uh, several phone calls. From this number, okay, and the individual, had, and we're leaving lewd and lascivious phone numbers. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers, and he also had other things what? that was threatening the officers. That's why we were able to contact this number and call this individual right back. It could have been somebody in the room. This is a motel. No, it's not. Well, that's why we were able to call you right back. Nobody made a call from here. That's why we called you back. Yes, and it was, sir, we have it on tape that, that we had two calls from this number. That's why we called you back. Two calls come from this number. Was it male or female? Sir, listen to what I've been taping from this number. Okay. Good afternoon, Cleveland Police. Hey, come guzzler. Cleveland Police, can I help you? Really worship my car. That is I know my you're being taped, and I got you. I'm getting hot. Balls rubbing against your cheek. And then before I come, I'll squeeze your nose, and you're gonna take it all. Can you handle that? Whoa! Can handle what? That? That's disgusting. Well, that's why we were able to call you right back. Well, I'm the only one here, and it's why? obvious to me that I didn't make the calls. Okay. Now, do you realize, just like I said before, that this conversation is being recorded? That's fine. You record it. But okay. uh, th I, I, I don't know from nothing. I haven't made a call all night long well, to the, anybody. Well, what we're having right now is we have uh, the folks listening to this conversation. As uh, We're listening to you. Listening to, you know, the folks listening, and uh, we're listening to you right now. Yeah. Of course. Okay. You do realize that this is the police department that you're talking with? That's what you said. I have no way of knowing that. Okay. Okay, who is this I'm talking to right now? Who am I talking to? Uh, I ain't going to play this game. Call again, the local police again, department we, in ARAP again, we, and have them come see me. Again, we again we again we again we again we again we, again, we, again, we, again, we, again. Quality and Dave speaking. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. This is Officer Griggs with ARAB Police Department. With with who? With ARAB Police Department. Yes, sir. How can I can be of assistance me? to you, officer? Can you Barely, hear me? but I can yeah, I can hear you. Okay. What can Who's I do this? for you, officer? My name's David. Okay. What, what happened to Ed Powers? There, to my knowledge, there's never been anybody named Ed working here. Ed Powers. Ed Powers that works there. Are you sure you got the right number, sir? 
because this is a motel. Yeah. Yes, sir. Are you and yeah, you're talking to somebody that is in law enforcement? There is no Ed Powers or Bowers or whatever working here. Ed? Now here we go with the second name. Powers. Powers. There is no Powers. Ed Powers. Powers, yes. P O W E R S, right? Powers. No. This is Officer Griggs with the police department. Officer Griggs, G R I G G S. Okay. All right. What? Uh, all right. Now, this is the second call I've gotten from a police department in two minutes. Okay. I had a guy call me from the Cleveland Police Department saying I, if he played a recording saying that I said these nasty things to police officers, disgusting things. Now, I told him to call the ARAB Police Department and have them send an officer to take yes, my sir. statement. Yeah. I would never so, call the police department and say anything in that nature. I've been in law enforcement 13 years. Uh, I, I'm sorry. There's nobody here by that name. You're full of more shit than a fly. If you were a cop, you wouldn't be talking like that, so uh, shut the fuck Rick, up. G-R-I-G-G-S. G-S. I know it's not. Quality in, Dave speaking. Are we doing this again? It's Officer McLean. What's going on? Look, uh, I don't know, but I'm getting tired of this. I w I'm sorry? Do me a favor and send your uh, watch commander or an uh, officer here I, to, I, I, to, to where I am. How long have you been in law enforcement? Huh? How long have you been in law enforcement, sir? I've never been in law enforcement. Right. right. So We've had send this discussion watch and or three sergeant, times now. The, I will make, get a warrant for the phone records. I don't care what you're doing. You send an officer to the Quality Inn on Highway 231 no. and have them no. come and see me. Do you understand me? No. No? You don't no. understand? Then you're pretty fucking ignorant, aren't you? I, I, I uh, Don't call here again. You send an officer, and no. I will identify no. myself to him. No. Otherwise, I will get a you. warrant for the phone records. Quality in. Hello? Hello, sir. What is it now? Can you explain to me what's going on? What's going on where? Um, the CPD called the Hyatt Regency in downtown Cleveland. And they called my supervisor. And Ed Powell said, pull the phone records and get them over right now. Please send an officer to the quality um, in, in ARAB. I will discuss anything you want at that point. They call Thank you. Have a good evening. Is what you're saying. <clears throat> Hello. I Hello. said hi. Hi, John. Will you quit calling here? Excuse me? This is a business line. I haven't got time to play with people. Wow. There's no excuse me. Why are you so mad at me? Why are you calling here all the time? Do you remember me? I remember you. I just hung up on you. No. No, I didn't. No. I'm sorry it happened. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. This is Fred. Who the, who's Fred? Fred who? What? Let's start this again. How um, are you? I'm fine. How are you? Just fine. Thank you. Are you through playing with these prank calls now? Excuse me? I said, are you through with these prank calls now. There's some sick person out there that's doing this. 
I get these calls all day long from uh, a prankster, and I just got one a little while ago, so I'm not making them. I'm not doing anything. I've been getting one call after the other from Cleveland police officers, wow. from ARAB officers, well, because and the this last guy goes on all the time. I've been I've had thirty calls today from and and uh, that I'm calling somebody. I'm not calling anybody.